गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर फॉर टू आई बी सी एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री सेमिस्टर सिक्स स्टूडेंट द कोर्स ऑफ दिस एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट इज सी एच सिक्स डबल वन ए द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज अ फ्लेम इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वे आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फ्लेम इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द introductory part principle type of the burner involved in the flame emission spectroscopy now in this lecture we are we will focus on this monochromator system now this is the instrumentation block diagram for the instrumentation then this instrumentation uh, diagram consist of the burner head flame monochromator photo detector detector amplifier and indicator this amplifier and indicator that will constitute the signal or you can say readout device now this photo detector the detector used in the photo in flame emission spectroscopy is the photo multiplier tube and monochromator now we will focus in this lecture on the monochromator now what is the role of the monochromator what is the wavelength isolation system used in monochromator so for this purpose we will focus the in this wall file mirror or reflector now after the flame there is a mirror is placed or reflector is placed what is the role of the mirror or reflector let us see the radiation from the flame is emitted in all direction so there is a possibility in loss of radiation there is a thereby loss of signal so that flame whatever the neutral atoms will be get excited into the flame the they it it it, it emits the wavelength and now this wavelength in the form of radiation will be uh, transferred towards the mirror the radiation from the flame is emitted in all direction so there is a possibility in loss of radiation there will loss of signal so if the radiation uh, loss of radiation takes place it will cause the loss of signal now the second point is that front surface concave mirrors are used to reflect the radiation back to the entrance slit of the monochromator now monochromator is nothing but the prism or diffraction grating that gives the monochromatic beam of radiation that is a selected beam of radiation but before that monochromator entrance slit is placed and now this what is the role of the entrance slit front surface concave mirrors are used to reflect the radiation back to the entrance slit so what is the or what is the mirrors which type of mirrors are used that is a front surface concave mirrors are used in the flame emission spectroscopy as a mirror or reflector now the role of the uh, the role of the mirror is that front surface concave mirrors that will give the reflection to the radiation which will uh, give to the uh, uh, part that is the entrance slit and that entrance slit uh, is placed before the monochromator or monochromatic system now the third point is that care should be taken of this reflecting mirrors from corrosive atmosphere now the reflecting mirrors are will be protected uh, will be protected from the corrosive atmosphere so care should be taken like this the reflecting mirrors should be uh, should be protect from the atmosphere of corrosion this is all about the mirror or reflector which is the third point in the instrumentation now the fourth point in the uh, in the instrumentation that is a wavelength isolation system now wavelength isolation system is also called as a optical system of the flame photometry or flame photo uh, flame emission spectroscopy now wavelength isolation system in flame photometry consist of an entrance slit prism or grating and an exit slit now there are the three components of the optical system or wavelength isolation system that is the first is entrance slit next one is prism or grating and third one is exit slit now the role of the entrance slit the entrance slit cuts out from uh, cuts out most of the surrounding radiation from the flame now flame gives a tremendous amount of radiation from its source or can say itself 
and therefore, uh, therefore to the interest rate what is the role of the interest rate it cut out the most of the surrounding radiation which are uh, given by the flame prism or diffraction is useful to select a specific band of wavelength what is the role of prism what is the role of diffraction grating is that prism or diffraction grating uh, grating is useful to select a specific band of wavelength here the prism or diffraction grating acts as a monochromator or monochromatic system which gives or which selects a specific band of wavelength now the third point is that entrance exit slit that is a third uh, third part of the wavelength isolation system or optical system now exit slit is placed after the prism and it allows a selected beam of radiation onto the detector exit slit what is the role of the, uh, what uh, uh, exit slit is placed based after the after the prism after the monochromatic system at the end of the prism and it allows a specific beam of radiation onto the detector so this is all about the wavelength isolation system in the next lecture we will see we will focus on the prism and its work how it is constructed how how grating is constructed we will see and what is the monoco what is the uh, detector used in the flame emission spectroscopy that is a photo multiplier tube uh, pmt photo multiplier tube acts as a uh, detector in the flame emission spectroscopy we will see in the deep now this is all uh, this is, uh, this lecture will tell or uh, it gives the information about the mirror or reflector and and wavelength isolation system utilized in the flame emission spectroscopy with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening